Hey guys, welcome back to The Fool's Show. Of course, I am Foolish Phil. Just wanted to give you my thoughts on Michigan versus Michigan State basketball. Michigan State pulls it out 83-67, to and Michigan State just totally dominated the second half. And that's just what, you know, there's no sugarcoating it. The first half was pretty much back and forth, a tightly contested half. There were some lead changes. Michigan was even up by six, I believe it was. At halftime, it was 39-35. Michigan State was leading there, and uh, it just it just didn't feel like Michigan was going to pull this game out. There were just little things that kept happening that just were like, if you're going to beat a top 10 team on the road, you can't miss bunny layups like Hunter Dickinson did. And I know Hunter Dickinson gets 25 points, but he got those on 8 of 19 shooting. And Michigan State's one-on-one um, -on -one defense was just enough to throw him off. He missed a lot of his little hook bunny shots, and it just didn't work. He just was not at a high efficiency, and you know it took him a while ago in the second in the second half too to even get some points again. And that was when um, shoot their um, Bingham got out when he had four fouls. Then all of a sudden, Hunter Dickinson started going again. So Bingham was really a big part of this. Bingham definitely. If I was going to pick three stars for Michigan State, Michigan Bingham definitely four blocks, and he definitely altered a lot of shots. Hauser was just lights out, especially in the second half. And then, of course, Bogart, or sorry, not Ho Bogart, Hogart, who had uh, 10 assists, zero turnovers, and 11 points. I mean, their bench was outstanding for Michigan State, so kudos to them. And Michigan just, uh, Michigan State played well, don't get me wrong. But I don't know if their defense, well, <laughs> It's hard to say what's defense versus what's not defense. I mean, Michigan came into this game shooting 57% over the last three games. And today they shot 37% and 16% from threes. So really, it's like all of a sudden Michigan's three-point shot just dried up. They were shooting pretty well, especially it had been uh, you know, well-documented. Caleb Houston had been shooting, I think, 11 of 16 over the last three games from three today. I think one of two. They, Michigan State did a really good job staying tight on him, not giving him an open look. And really, he only got 11 points. And honestly, he got those in the last, like, two minutes of the game when the game was over. Then he got, you know, he might have got an and one or so. But he got to the free throw line a few times there and such. So, I mean, he finishes with 11, but it wasn't 11 points when it really mattered. When this game was in the balance, when it was 39-35, Michigan State just came out and... Just started building on the lead, and Michigan just could not hit a shot. Started 0 of 8. I mean, just terrible. Just the offense. Even when he had open shots, guys were missing. And again, that just comes back without Houston really doing anything. It's like this really sh shines how Eli Brooks is not good at offense. Devontae Jones finished with, I think, 6 points. Eli Brooks at 8 points. I mean, when those are your two starting guards, and those are the guys you, you need... Jones, somewhat, especially if he can drive and hit some layups or something, get some penetration. You need Brooks to hit shots, you need Houston to hit shots, and that didn't happen. So, well, again, that's Michigan State's defense, right? They are not doubling down on Hunter Dickinson. For a while, Diabate was just causing all kinds of havoc, but that dried up too. I mean, he ended up with a lot of offensive rebounds, and Michigan as a whole team had 16 offensive rebounds, but of course... That's a product of shooting so poorly as well, right? If you're hitting your shots, you don't have as many opportunities for offensive rebounds. Ugh. So these two teams were evenly split the last four games. Both wins, both teams, I should say, had two wins on home. So two and two, both teams had one at home. Michigan State obviously wins this game, so they're up 3-2. to two. I don't know if the second game, the one Michigan postponed with COVID protocols issues, if that'll be made up or not. We'll see. The one versus Purdue is being made up soon in like early February, but I have not heard anything about Michigan State. So definitely for Michigan and their eyes on trying to make the tournament, maybe they can pull a Michigan State from last year where, if you remember, Michigan and Michigan State played back-to-back -back games, like I think it was Friday, maybe it was Friday, Sunday, or Saturday, Sunday, something like that. And Michigan won the first round in Ann Arbor, you know, 
won the Big Ten title that night. And the next game, they didn't have as much to play for. Michigan State won. Michigan State won, I think, a game or two in the Big Ten tournament and made the NCAAs. So maybe Michigan could have that kind of happen where maybe Michigan State's already got the Big Ten wrapped up and go into Ann Arbor and maybe they, they don't care. They don't want to get injured. Maybe. So I don't know if that game will get replayed or not. We'll see. Uh, rescheduled, I should say. So, I mean, def, definitely Michigan State totally owned the second half. Kudos to them, man. They played good defense. They really put Dickinson on an island on those ball switches. Is he going to come out and try to defend a shooter at the three-point line? They just back up a little bit, shoot over him, or blow by him for a layup. It was excellent defensive strat or sorry, offensive strategy to exploit Michigan's defense by Izzo. So kudos to that. He made a great job on that, great decision there. And Michigan couldn't stop him defensively and couldn't hit anything offensively because, you know, it's... Can't hit your open threes, can't hit contested threes. It was not Michigan's day, and that's just what it is. So, what are your guys' thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. I'll try to respond as I'm able to. Again, Michigan State wins 83-67. to Total domination in the second half. Michigan State just excelled, did excellent work. And hats off to them, man. They got it done. <sighs> if you like this video, please hit the subscribe. Thanks for that, and... Until I see you guys next time, as always, go blue.